suppose I've had an influx of new starters at GR8 Productions. They've all got PCs and all the software they need, but one of the things they need to do is to set up their email accounts on their PCs. Well, as part of induction, I guess I could give them, amongst a mountain of documentation, instructions on how to set up their email accounts. On the other hand, I could produce a video, like the one I'm about to show you, that demonstrates how to set up their email accounts. I could do this for all sorts of induction training, but I don't want my IT department getting phone calls from lots and lots of people. Every new starter, how do I set up my email account? This video is going to make life a lot easier for them. So here goes. Let's pretend we've got a new starter called Newbie who needs to set up his email account. Open Microsoft Outlook, click on the File tab, and at the top here you'll see Account Information. And you'll probably have no accounts listed there. You need to press Add Account. And we're going to manually configure server settings for this email account, so we'll click that radio button and then go to next. And we're going to connect to a POP3 server, so this first radio button is appropriate. Next, your name. For example, newbie. Your email address will be your name at GR8 Productions. The account type will be POP3 and the incoming mail server will be gr8productions.co.uk and the same will be for the outgoing mail, mail server. Your username, you need to enter here your email address and your password will have been given to you and once you've entered it here, you need to destroy the piece of paper with your password on. And before we test the account settings, let's have a look at more settings. In the general tab here, it's entered newbie at gr8productions.co.uk, your email address. Well, let's put something more meaningful. your name. And we just need to check the outgoing server and we do not need to tick this box that says that the outgoing server requires authentication. So I can click OK now. The connection and advanced tabs we don't need to worry about. So click OK. And now let's test the account settings to make sure everything's been set up properly. Great, that's worked, so I'll close that and I'll click next. And this will probably test the account settings again, actually, unless I untick this box. But let's go ahead anyway. And close that. And there we go, the account is all set up. So, finish. We're done.